Don't you know that the music should be soft? So then I, I, uh, and may I, I just I, say, beautiful bum that you have. <laughs> Other you. than Charlie, were you second and then me third with Ash? No, I think you and I were neck and neck. We, we, I'll bet you we're pretty fucking close. 100%. But yours well, was who, always a beauty shot. Mine was either a dog bite or a bullet. Yeah. Wound. <laughs> yeah. There's no beauty shot with my ass. I mean, all right. So let's, let's think about this quick. Ready? <laughs> this will be a fun one. Jax is definitely number one by far. He's got a landslide of ass shots, right? He's that number landslide. one. Landslide. You and I are definitely number two somewhere, right? And doesn't matter the reasoning. Your might be a little more gratuitous with blood and bites and all that. But you and I have both shown Perlman, I think, once. Maybe, right? When did he show that droopy little ass that he's got? When I don't know, because there is no ass. So maybe. You see that? You're going to be scarred for life. Man. Jimmy, Jimmy once. Yeah. Jimmy once, right? Sure, sure. Tommy, Ryan? Tommy, Tommy, Tommy must have. I think coming up, Tommy shows. Oh, prison. What about up. when you guys were all in prison, when you were lined up? Oh, yeah. Guys, there you go. Everybody, Me, right? Ryan, Charlie. No, that was a beauty shot ass for Jake that, that time. <laughs> Is it Boone? Because Boone has a peanut, a walnut of an ass. Did they I show? Wonder, I mean, I've ass? seen Boone's ass way too many times to, to count with opening his fucking Winnebago door when he's on the fucking toilet. But you know, I don't think, I don't think Bobby Alva shows ass. I could be wrong. Hey, you know, how about we pivot from the? Since you obviously after this episode, there is no more death count. Just lose it. It's over. Let's get an ass count. Let's get, an ass count. <laughs> Let's get a little ass count, biscuits. Let's get a seven <laughs> season ass count. And and listen. I understand the Jax one is just too much, but I'm sure the girls uh, or the guys or whoever want to revisit it anyway. Um, give love, us an ask. Love to know. Yeah. I'd love to know too, because this Lam was- Lamb Chops would love to know. Yeah. Lamb Chops would love to know. Inquiry minds want to know Inquiry how many minds. times. So, so we do that. Um, and then we cut to Jax and the crew. And okay, this is what I wrote. Now, again, I was on a plane- I was watching this. Um, the whole mood is kind of silly, right? Tyler shows up and talks about Lynn, Lynn spots getting hit and how he needs, he needs the boys to do a mission. I'm so confused of like why the mood is so silly amongst everyone. Like, do you, do, do, and what I mean by that is like, it seems like something changed. Do you understand? Cause you were there. I, it's like I, almost I, like a. I do. Weird. I, I do. I, I think because the mood of the revenge line that Jax is on is so serious and only getting more serious that Sutter and his writers decided to put these meetings for lack of a better in unserious places. Like it's so fucking heavy. Let's have winter. Hi, with a little, we're in post right now. We're in post. So you can take your meeting at the bar if you want, because we're in post. So then you see a couple of, you know, uh, Tyler's boys looking yeah. at little porn shit. Uh, it's kind of funny and kind of sexy. But here we are at the bar talking about some serious heroin shit. I don't know. I think they needed to switch it up. It's seven seasons now of taking fucking meetings over selling guns or drugs or killing people. And they needed to just throw some fucking spice in the mix. And that's why we're at the bar. That's why we're doing stuff like this. That's why we go to. Yeah, it just. Scoops. Yeah, the poops and scoops. And but now he needs them to do a mission. He needs you guys to find this person before Marx does. And it's this whole thing. Right. OK. Yeah. Fine. But Jack says we're going to dig up the body. We're going to go to the woods. Right. Yeah. Thank God for you and Rat. Um, you two are fucking great together. You have that little humor there. Uh, Jax also seems to be perpetually smiling now. Okay, so so let me tell you that that we're talking now. We're in Sugar Woods and they're digging the bodies, right? Uh -huh. We're getting the phone out and we're all uh -huh. somewhere in there, right? <clears throat> oh yeah, and the Captain Psycho. How about yeah? How about you know Andre the Giant and Captain Psycho sit this one out, right? I, I fucking love that line. Um, oh yeah, then we go right from there into Chigger Woods. And Rat goes, This is probably it's probably gonna get you hard. And Tig goes, What was that? And he goes, This is gonna be hard. And then Tig goes, Yeah, that was that was funny. It's, that's that's fucking funny. And that kind of humor is pretty good for the show because it just it's yeah. it's, it's real in a way, right? Like it's better. It's it's 
it's in the situation. You it's mean, in the right? situation like it's, of it actually almost working. It's yeah. not forced. It's right. in the situation of what's happening, which is right. the way good humor happens, right? Where yeah. it's like somebody's yeah. doing something. You go, what the fuck are we doing here? What's right. happening? And it's like, that's funny as opposed to a forced thing when someone's right. leaving or someone. Right. So, and yeah, then totally as, the scene, as the scene continues <clears throat> to get back to your, your question about Charlie smiling, something happened in there. Because he and I were the only two not digging. Rat, DL, and Quinn are doing all the fucking digging. And something happened where Charlie couldn't stop laughing. Like, cut. Let's do it again. Okay, cut. He couldn't stop laughing. Oh, I've been there. And we've all been there. And if you look at my face in that scene, I can't even hardly look at him because he hands me the fucking phone and I'm about to start wiping it off and shit. But he can't look at me. He's got this fucking smile and I can't look at him. We couldn't get through the fucking scene. And so that was just, we're ending it now. I'm going to smile. The nightmare for the crew. The crew hates it. And I feel so bad, but the crew hates it because they just want to get to lunch and get over their day. These misbehaved actors. Can you just get it together so we can go have our burgers? And and it could be the simplest thing. The one that I remember the most, and we've talked about it, was the Hasselhoff one where I literally couldn't stop. Like, I was like, I'm going to have to bite. So that what I- No, you backed out of the scene. You and I backed out of the scene. We couldn't do it anymore. And what I was taught in acting school back in the day in Strasbourg was they said, like, bite the inside of your cheek. And yeah. then you start to think about, like, something really horrible, like something that's really, like, unworldly horrible because you have to pull yourself out of yeah. this nonstop laughter, right? That you can't, it just takes you over. And if you're a little tired and you get it, forget it. It's the day's over. You get, like, I'll, I'll say sometimes, like, I'm not going to get this scene. You might as well cut me out of it because I can't. <laughs> And I'll tell people, don't look at me. Don't just don't look at me. I have to say this line. Don't look at me. And you're and, just and, really hoping that Sutter's not really around the corner of getting in oh. on a motorcycle, which you could never ride very well. And get yeah. off his fucking bike and come in and see us fucking around or trying to get a oof. Lean onto your mic. I can't hear you. Yeah, sorry. Lean forward. No, just, 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 it was, it, you just wanted to make sure Sutter wasn't around the corner. Oh, he would get there. so mad at us. You just go, come on. We go, come on. You wrote it. He would get so mad. The most mad I've ever seen him with me was when we were doing that scene where uh, who's the white supremacist dude? Alan Arkin? Adam Arkin? Yeah. Adam Arkin. Adam Arkin, yeah. Zobel. Yeah, when Zobel was in the, uh, it was the finale and he was, Kurt was directing and Zobel was in the like bodega. Oh yeah. And we were all outside of it. And we had one of those moments, all of us, and we couldn't stop running to the door, run into the trying to get in or looking yeah, where it was. Yeah. Did you start to laugh wanted, there? Oh no. I couldn't stop laughing. And he wanted to make an example of me. But I was like, I guess I was the easy target. But he made an example of me in front of everyone. I was like, oh, I feel like a child. I just got yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> the only but thing no, we, we loved you. No, I know. And the funny thing is, when you think about that, it is, it's, it's childish, but it's really funny. You just can't stop fucking laughing. Something gets you. Somebody does something. Somebody says something and it just can't come back. No. Okay. So uh, that's good to know that that's where Jax was at that moment. I love that stuff. Okay. So we're back at Diosa, Jax and Gemma talk. Um, yeah. Listen, anytime uh, a mother and son are talking about mommy fetish stuff, I don't know, but what I got out of that scene is he wants to tell Nero that juice is around. So what, why would Nero care that juice is around? Well, that's, that's my, that's my whole fucking point. Like Nero tells Jax a fucking half a season ago. I know what happened with you and juice. With Darvin. Yeah. Yeah. With Darvin. Yeah. So, 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 no, exactly. So it's all out there. They had the big fight already. Nero and Jax punched it out. So who who tell Nero that he, Jack, yeah. So meaning what? He's going to go kill Juice? Right. Why? What, what does he have against Why? Juice? He had the chance to kill Juice. He didn't. Why does he care? I don't know. It's very weird. Okay. Maybe somebody can answer. I, I don't know why. Why would Nero care? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. If you want to see this full episode, uh, click on our subscription service down below. Yep. Where we have not just the rest of the Reaper review episodes, but we have everything else, which is our other show, Theory. 
Discord, merchandise, Q and A's, so much going on. I, I can't even keep up the greeting videos that we come on, come on. Our merch shops, our exclusive gear, plus again our other show theory yep. that Kim and I also do. So hey, uh, continue the journey of Reaper reviews, and also come start the new journey with our theory show. And uh, that's it. We'll see you there. We appreciate see you. Soon. It. Can't wait. Appreciate you Bye. all. Let's go. Bye-bye.